Hey everybody, what's up? Carl Schiff here from snorkel.tv and today I'm going to show you how to build my whirl around text effect, alright? We're going to use a slow-mo ease to get this text to shoot in really fast and then it's going to move back to the left and then it's going to shrink and move off screen, alright? So there's quite a few things going on here, but you'll just notice how really smooth it is as it changes direction, how it scales, and how it just moves around. So we're going to have slow-mo ease to the rescue and I'm going to show you how to build this. So over here in my start file, let me just go through the HTML real quick. I've got a div with an ID of demo. Inside of there, I have an SVG image, which is just the GSAP3 logo. And then under it, I have a heading one with the class of express, all right? And that's the word express down there. It's editable text. So what I wanna do is move these elements across the screen with my cool slow-mo ease. Now, I wanna go into the CSS real quick and for that demo div, I'm just going to turn on a little border, all right? Because I want to make sure we have the placement of everything the way we want it. So let me just run again, and we should see, okay, a red border around that demo div. Now, the idea here is that I want to push all these elements off stage or out of that demo div all the way to the left so that their right edge is aligned with the left edge of the demo, all right? Um, one of the things I need to do real quick is make sure that the overflow is not hidden. So I'll just do a scrappy comment out right there. And then let's go to my JavaScript file and see what we got. We have a very similar setup to the last exercise where we're going to wait for the load event to fire. And when that happens, we're going to take that demo div and set its auto alpha to one uh, because initially I'm hiding it with the visibility of hidden. And again, we've discussed that a few times. We're going to run the init function, which is then going to add tweens to our timeline. The first thing I want to do is I want to take this GSAP3 SVG and move it off stage to the left. And I want to get the right edge of that three just to hang out right around here. Well, something I showed you in GSAP3 Express was that we can use X% percent to do that, okay? So let's just take that image and we're going to say that your X percent, and I'm using a set here, and that's a tween with no duration, is gonna be minus 100. So when I run that, hopefully, let's see what happens. Aha, we move that image all the way off screen, and we just have the right edge touching that red border there, okay? So I wanna take it from this starting position here and move it all the way over to the right so that the left edge of the G is just off stage here or out of the demo. So to do that, I'm going to do a two tween and I'm gonna take the image and I'm gonna give it a duration of like, I don't know, let's say three for now. And I know that this demo is 800 pixels wide. So let's just do an X of 800 and see what that gets us. We should see that GSAP3 moves across the demo div, okay, and I have repeat set to four, and that's where it stops. Let me just get rid of that repeat real quick. Boom, I'll run one more time. And so it's taking its X value and changing it to 800, but remember, using X percent minus 100, we sort of offset things to the left. So if I want this G to go back over here, not only do I have to move it 800 pixels, but I also have to reset that X percent to zero. So here we're going to get perfect edge to edge movement. All right, we're gonna start, you know, I'm gonna make this really slow. You know, I might put a little delay on this. How about that? Let me say that we're gonna start this 0 0.5 seconds later, just so that you can see that when the demo runs, you start at that edge and then you move all the way to this edge. So I have this thing, based on its size, perfectly moving across the stage where I can't see it when it begins and where it ends. So now that I know that that works, let me just go into my CSS and I'm gonna go into that demo div again and we're going to make sure that the overflow is hidden. All right, and we're gonna run. And so now you're going to see, aha, comes in from the left and then it just sort of gets masked out when it goes again. Let me just run that one more time. There we go, nice and smooth, perfect. So 
Now what I got to do is make it so that it uses a slow-mo ease. And again, it's a string. We're going to configure it, so we're going to have those parentheses like it's a function. And for the linear portion, I'm going to do 0 0.6. And for the power, let's just start with, I don't know, 0 0.8 and see what that looks like. So let's run. And now you should see it start sort of fast, slow down and go linearly, and then zip off to the right. Now that's pretty cool, but remember in my little uh, demo before, we wanted it to go backwards a little bit and then shoot off. Do you remember what I taught you in the slow-mo ease overview? Aha, yes, remember if we set the power over a value of one, it's gonna go backwards in the linear portion. So now we're gonna run, and now this is awesome, it's so smooth. We shoot in, we go back, and then we zip off. All right, awesome. Now while it's doing that, I also want it to scale in from a scale of zero, get big as it comes at us, and then shrink as it moves off screen. So what I'm gonna do is add a from tween, which is gonna tween the image from a scale of zero. So let me just first put the duration in there of three so that things are perfectly synchronized. I'm gonna set the scale to be zero. And so just like the previous exercise, the secret to this is gonna be having these two tweens start at the same time. I don't wanna change the scale after it's moved across the screen. So I'm gonna use my less than position parameter that says, hey, start this animation at the same time as the previous animation. So let's run this. And this isn't the effect we want, but you're gonna see that it's constantly scaling the entire time, all right? And that's not what we want. We want it to quickly scale up to a scale of one, move backwards, and then on the way out, scale down. So again, it sounds like the perfect case of using a slow-mo ease. So let's just do ease, we'll write our slow, and we want the linear portion to match up exactly with the other animation. Uh, but here for the power, um, we're not going to do 1.2. We don't need to go backwards or anything. Let's just do 0 0.6 and see what happens. Now, this isn't going to be perfect, but you will see that the text does come in. It grows, and then as it moves off stage, it continues to grow still. So we want it to shrink down on that last part of the ease where it is zooming off stage. So we want it to literally go back to its starting value. In the slow-mo ease overview video, I showed you how to do that. It was that third parameter. Remember what it was called? That's right, yo-yo mode. And if we set it to true, that means that this animation is going to basically end where it began. So it's gonna shoot up to the end value, which is one, and then go back down to the start value. Let me run, and this is gonna be what we want. There we go, we get big, and then zoom. All the way out, it shrinks down. To wrap up, we just gotta do the same thing on that heading one for the word express. So in my selector string, I'm just gonna do image, comma, heading one, and we'll do this for all three of them. And now if I run, they're both gonna happen at the same time, and eh, it's okay, you know, pretty cool. But what I wanna do is have them staggered. So on the two tween, I'm just gonna chuck in a little uh, stagger of 0 0.2, just so they're offset just a little bit. And let's do the same thing for the second animation. I'll do stagger 0 0.2. Let's go to the CSS panel, and we're gonna get rid of that red border entirely. I don't need it there. Let's run it, and we should see our finished product. Ah, very nice. I love that little staggered offset. I love it so much, I wanna see it more. So let's go to the JS panel. And when we create the timeline, let's just do a repeat of 10, all right? So let me just run this, and we can sit back and watch how this text zooms onto the screen, and scales up, moves back, and then zooms off, all right? So again, just like with the in-your-face effect, the secret here is two tweens on the same element at the same time with slightly different slow-mo eases. Hopefully you can appreciate how powerful this ease is, and I look forward to seeing what you create with it. I'm gonna send you links to the finished files here, and what you can do is I would suggest you mess around with some of the slow-mo parameters, some of the timing, and just generally have some fun with it. All right, see you in the next video.